Hi, I'm Jenny Lee Brewster, and I'm an artist in residence here at the Headland. I'm just going to begin by telling a little bit about the genesis of this project, um, which started with the idea that I wanted to think about the Headlands and, and think about the site from uh, the perspective of the, the night sky, so that a place is, um, you know, not just described by its, you know, topographical features or, you know, architecture, but it's uh, described by the people who, you know, walk over the land and, you know, all look up over the stars. And that got me thinking about you know, constellations and how really, you know, what a const constellation is, it's, you know, it's an arbitrary pattern of stars that, you know, someone's decided to project meaning onto. And that that's a good metaphor for what we're all doing, you know, all the time in terms of, you know, history and, and personal stories that we're taking, a, you know, a set of events and we're, you know, connecting the dots. And, um, and that's in a way how we view place with meaning is that we, at the time I was going through this sort of, I don't know, kind of frenzy of, of decluttering my apartment and um, I'd gotten rid of a lot of just stuff you know, clothes, knickknacks, books, um, and I remember think, feeling like I had, you know, nothing left that, you know, I felt particularly, like, attached to, and then I remember that I had this box of old photographs, um, so I had this sort of chunk of my life, you know, that documented these photos, and I decided to, you know, sort of test myself in terms of, of letting go, and put them all up on the wall, and made this sort of world uh, collage, and then, and then fragmented that sphere into smaller collages, which are now these paper balls that you see. I began to think about uh, the relationship between physics and, and consciousness. I was really getting fascinated about how you know the phenomenal world is really totally you know not what we think it is in the sense that we think that things are, are things that they're these fixed you know contained en entities when really, um, you know, everything is constantly moving all the time and at some sort of, you know, primary level, it's all just sort of loops of energy and we sort of grab things in our mind and make them solid. And I began to wonder, like, if we do the same thing um, with, with each other or with, you know, our idea of who we are. And um, I was interested in, you know, kind of like breaking up that idea of linear narrative and and one way of doing that was to sort of take all these photographs and make these crushed paper balls and sort of, you know, disperse them, you know, at first in my studio and now uh, out here at the Headlands. There's a couple of reasons why I choose to, you know, work with uh, materials that are sort of disposable or reusable, um, particularly next to, you know, one of the themes running through this project is this idea that everything changes, that, you know, nothing is permanent, um, you know, including us. Um, you know, people will be invited to bring some of their own, you know, personal paper ephemera. It could be scraps of paper from their pocket, receipts, um, grocery lists, old photographs, and also sort of mine through whatever, um, you know, I, I've gathered and uh, make their own sort of crushed planet slash atom slash star uh, sculpture, and then we'll hang those throughout the space. And in exchange, people are also you know, invited to take home, you know, a, uh, you know, one of my sculptures. And again, just thinking about this idea of how just like the material world is constantly, uh, you know, exchanging information, exchanging particles, you know, we as, as people are constantly, you know, sharing bits of ourselves, sharing thoughts, sharing language, sharing memory.